application we are going to actually automate oil level in the tank what we have here in the picture we have a pump which fills the tank and we have a discharge wall that takes out the water from that particular tank so apart from it we have high limit and low limit load switches to actually sense whether level is at high level or that level is at low level so if in the case of a level is at low level at that time our pump should be running in there and our wall should be stopped so that the water get into the tank and it start filling in there so in another scenario where we are at the high level at that time our high level limit switch is going to give us an output and pump should not be running at that time because if pump is still running that with our flow the water uh, whatever oil is in there if in the case then it will overflow the tank and at that time what should be the action pump should be closed and the wall should be open up so, so here we have defined inputs and outputs input is uh, you can see here we have high level and low level limit switches coming from the field and we have already defined that in the PLC program and also in output side of it we have defined output Q0.0 for the pump and wall we have defined Q0.1 in this case in that particular example what we will do we will control the fill and drain mode by using a one status bit if that bit is high it will initiate a filling mode in that tank and if that bit is low it is gonna initiate a draining part of that particular project so let's go ahead and think of one scenario that's very very important to understand if you are pumping in tank or draining with the valve it is not always smooth level on the tank pump creates some waves when you are talking about the PLC program you cannot ignore that fact if you are controlling a pump directly with the switch then our pump is gonna start and stop back and forth because you are seeing the waves in there so sometime the level will reaches to the high level and sometime it, it will go down so if you're using high limit switch and you, you know you're seeing the waves in here so this limit switch will be on off on off on off it, what will it what is it, it, it's gonna do it is gonna send a command to pump on and off on and off on and off on and off and by this way you can burn up that your uh, your you can burn your pump because you're just on and off on and off same is the case with the valve so we have taken a timer here so this timer is gonna take care about the situation whether it is a consistent signal coming from the limit switch or it's just the momentary for like it's just a, for a moment or it's a consistent signal or it's a wave or it's a real signal consistent so it will wait for 10 seconds and then it is gonna give output so that output will take our to the next level so like for sure when we are at the low level we need to fill in the tank right so this fill mode need to be uh, activated here so once this fill mode will activate it then we will actually go ahead and will define we have mode here mode 1 is to fill uh, if mode is equal to 1 that's for fill if mode is equal to 0 that's for drain we have two situations now either we, either we are filling the tank or we are draining the particular tank so once we have low level for sure this fill bit is gonna give us a signal and with that we are going to set that mode m0.2 to 1 and in order to latch we are taking that feedback back to here in parallel so now uh, for sure like if we will just take m0.2 in as a feedback then it will be running continuously for long term because we don't have any signal to cut off so now how long we will actually activate that mode to fill mode because it's one so how long we are gonna activate that it's all dependent on high level so once we will have high level 
at the high level it is gonna see whether this is a consistent level so we have another timer here to make sure that's a consistent level and then after 10 seconds it's gonna give us a signal M0.0 .0. so that mean we are already reaches to the higher level and tank is filled already so we don't need filling anymore so that's the that's particular M0.2 we are using as, as a you know close contact here and then when this will be high it will open up this path and we will lose M0.2 so we have defined already when, when mode is equal to 1 it's a full one and if mode is equal to 0 it's a drain one so that's something we have to actually write in here also in next two blocks here two, two, two networks here so we have uh, written here if mode M0.2 is equal to 1 that means if this is high then pump will run because pump is gonna let in the water inside the tank so when M0.2 is high that time pump will be running and when we have this mode 0 that means like we will use normally close contact of it so when we have mode equal to 0 then wall will be running that mean we are gonna drain the tank at that particular situation so let's uh, go ahead and simulate that particular example so we have open up simulator already and now we are going to download that program into that simulator in order to do the simulation so we will start with filling of the tank at the start so let's take as our low level reaches so our low level here in this case is I0.1 so we will just run it and we will turn on that classes sign here and then we will select here and now it's the time actually to select I0.1 so when I will select I0.1 this timer will start and it will count for 10 seconds it is not gonna give directly signal to M0.1 or M0.1 is not gonna be directly in high condition it will wait for 10 seconds as we discussed because we need to see whether that particular output is consistent or this particular signal low level limit which is consistent sig signal or it's just a waves created there so to make sure that we have a timer there so when I will click click here I see upon one the timer will start it will count, count for 10 seconds and after that it's gonna give us output now its timer is running 10 second almost reached now fill will activate and this fill is gonna run that M0.2 mode and uh, like it will be in a high condition M0.2 that mean like we need to fill the tank because low level is already there right with the low level we need to fill the tank so when uh, we have defined M when M0.2 is equal to 1 that means fill need to be run and filling is gonna be done by a pump right so when we have this pump this particular M0.2 high this will activate this pump now how long actually it should it should uh, work like that like filling how long it need to be continued for sure unless it reaches to the high level so let's go ahead and suppose that we reach to the high level and what is our high level our high level is this particular rung the first one so this I0.0 .0 is our high level so let's go ahead and check I0.0 .0 here so the timer is running you can see after 10 seconds it is gonna give us a drain signal and this drain signal will cut off this path and this particular fill mode that was activated because mode M0.0 .0 was high so that that was the reason that we were getting output through the pump but now this particular drain <coughs> signal will cut off the path for that fill signal here uh, for that particular M0.0 .0, uh, M0.2 uh, mode to be back to the zero level and what it is gonna do it's go it will go to the network number five and it will activate the wall and that by this way you're now you start uh, actually draining out the water from the tank so hope you do like today's video in order to see more videos all you have to do is 
like this video and share it with every person who is actually looking for the skills and just because of lacking of the skills they are not able to go ahead in their career so I am here to help you guys I hope you will spread this message to everyone who is looking for the right skills thank you very much Assalamualaikum